think there's quite a few barriers that face women. So certainly we don't see very many women in senior roles in fintech. I'm fairly unusual being both a woman in financial services, a woman in fintech and women in crypto are, are pretty much unheard of. So I think there's a lot of um, recruiting for top roles, which ignores women, lots of promoting women into interesting roles gets overlooked. And of course, lots of women leave the workplace uh, for family reasons when they have children. So I think we come up against a lot of barriers. I think inherent bias is probably one of them. And there's huge amounts of work being done in the space um, in diversity and inclusion, which is really critical in making sure that feeds through into women in those senior roles. Also great to see a lot happening at grassroots level. People like myself return to many educational settings, whether it's my old school or just talking to women about choosing careers uh, in STEM broadly or particularly careers in financial services. And I think, you know, a career in financial services can probably be seen as quite off-putting, quite macho, quite manly. And I think the more we spread that word, uh, the more of a welcoming place it will be for women that are looking to succeed in fintech. And of course, spread, you know, a real raft of uh, skills and attributes to the industry. So I come from a quite traditional financial services background, spent time in some of the world's biggest banks, asset managers and hedge funds. Um, that experience has been broadly positive. You know, it's an industry that I'm very passionate about. It's a, a place I love to work. I've met some really inspirational people and worked for some fantastic companies. But equally, there have been parts of that experience which haven't been so positive. Uh, if I had a pound for every time I went for a meeting and it was just assumed that I was a junior member of staff or a PA or a, or whatever. And actually, I've had to say, actually, no, um, I'm a senior member of staff here. Uh, I'd be quite a, a wealthy woman. And I think also, um, you know, I've been in a, a heavily male environment. So, you know, I've had the experience of working in a building with 300 people and it's myself and one other girl in the building. And if you've got unisex toilets, uh, that is a pretty unpleasant experience. I think overall, I've found the male colleagues I've had broadly supportive. Um, but equally, you know, I'm very keen to see more women in the workplace, particularly in well-paid financial services roles. And particularly from the background that I'm from, you do tend to see the companies that are talking about diversity and inclusion. There's a little bit of lip service sometimes. Um, they're proud of the female headcount they've got, but often they're in the more sort of junior and more creative roles. Um, personally, I'm very keen to see women uh, across all functions. They have a fantastic contribution to bring. Um, and of course, particularly in those more senior roles. And of course, we lose so many women uh, that have uh, children or leave for family reasons and just don't feel that financial services, banking, fintech can provide them with the flexibility uh, for family life that they need. That said, I've personally been very privileged to work for some great companies and some inspirational leaders. Uh, and I think also sort of the migration to working from home um, for me has been extremely positive. I speak to other working mums like myself. Um, and indeed, you know, um, men that are, you know, very passionate about their families or their hobbies. Uh, and they'll say, actually, working from home is fantastic. You know, I get to have a little bit more flexibility and I get to spend a lot more time uh, with my family and or indeed other hobbies. Um, so I think that working from home um, hopefully is here to stay and in my opinion is probably one of the most fantastic things that's happened to uh, women in financial services for a number of generations. For me personally, International Women's Day is hugely important. Women make up 50% of the population. Um, so I think it's an event which, of course, has been going for a, a while now and I think has still got a valuable contribution to make. Much progress has been made. There is, of course, huge amounts of progress still to come particularly in our industry, which is financial services and banking, women are not well represented and they're particularly not well represented in a senior level and a board level. So I think events like International Women's Day really brings that to the forefront. I think that is a cohesive effort at every level. So whether you're a manager or whether you're you know, working in a team with women, I think just really bring some of those issues to the forefront around diversity and inclusion. What can be done? What can we do to further that cause? And to break that bias is really key. And I think also outside of a moral conundrum, making sure we don't leave all these great women from the workplace. I think in terms of bottom line, there's a lot to be said. You know, losing half the population doesn't make much sense across your workforce. So aside from being a moral uh, conundrum, I think there's also a lot to be said in terms of bottom line, making sure that you're acknowledging exactly half the population in your workforce.